I want to take a few seconds to show you how to do free 3D tours or virtual tours using Google Tools. Okay, so this is primarily for real estate agents, but it could really work for anyone. And we are community experts, right? We know where the best parks are and we know where hiking trails are and we want to show off the backyard of our listing. And if you must, you can also use this to show off the interior of homes for virtual tours. Now, let me just give you a word of caution here. There are much better tools like MO Viewer and the rest that will help you create uh, more engaging uh, interior 3D tours for properties. So this particular tool, I mean, you can use this for that, but this is really more for showing off the community a little bit and maybe putting yourself literally on the map. So here's what we're looking at. Um, let's say that you are creating a buyer tour for your relocation buyers or people who aren't familiar with the area, and you want to show off three or four community assets. Maybe it's the playground in a particular gated community. Perhaps it's the community park. It may be the lake uh, where you can go fishing or just whatever you can think of. I found that this tool is, again, pretty ideal for um, uh, virtual tours outside, inside. It usually wants something more intricate, but it'll work. And so we're going to start off with this. There are two tools in particular you're going to need outside of your smartphone. One is the Google, Gar Google Cardboard app. A lot of words and it's free and you can download it on your iphone and your android device and what it's doing is actually creating virtual tours the cool part about this app is that you can collect just by standing and going in a circle a 3d tour asset in other words the graphic you need to make that work and here's how you're going to do that all right so i am simply going to go find cardboard camera here hit this button in the bottom right hand corner which opens up my camera and then you can see that there is a orange arrow there. And as I move around, that arrow tells me to keep level. And if I'm moving too fast or too slow, it'll actually tell me that I'm moving too fast or too slow. And then I'm just gonna spin around here in a circle. And then when I'm done, I hit capture and it's gonna render and then I'm all done. All right, now that we have collected the asset, and in this case, it's my backyard, um, we're going to go over here to the second tool that you'll need. So um, uh, arvr.google.com forward slash cardboard is, or you can just go to the, the online store or whatever, either uh, Google Play or uh, the Apple Store and get the app. And then we're going to go here, once we have those resources, to arvr.google.com forward slash tour creator where we're going to create the actual tour and so i'm going to go ahead and do just what it says here i'm going to get started and when i click on get started it takes me now to my build page and this is where i'm going to create uh, a tour now there's some fancy stuff in here you can go grab some templates and it'll put some interlays and things like that in there and it'll be cool i'm just going to do a raw tour right now so i'm going to click on new tour and i'm just going to call this test tour and when you want to do the tour, remember, this could end up anywhere. It could be somewhere, a link that you share. You can put it on mymaps.google or some other places. So you want a nice image. And I'm just going to select an image here. And again, I'm, I'm just doing this uh, for training. This is not necessarily the nicest graphic I would have created. You could also go to Canva and create a cover graphic and say, you know, her camp park in Fredericksburg, Virginia, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to click a still photo here from my backyard. And then we're going to put in a description goes here and skip this message here and then we're going to go to categories and you can choose whatever you want um, for me i'm just going to pull travel because this will be a destination location if you will i'm going to hit create when i hit create i have the option here of typing in the address of the location now again this may help you as you go through to place it on a google map or again create it on my maps or somewhere else uh, i'm not going to type it in now because i don't want my backyard actually on google maps this is just for training but you would type that in and it would show you where that location is. I'm gonna go over here to upload, and I'm gonna upload, it says upload your 360 or 180 degree image. And again, this was the image I just collected using the app. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna go grab this one. And very simply that, that graphic I got from the backyard is now uploaded. Now, I've got the graphic here, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the scene. This is the actual 3D tour, and you can see how awesome that looks just using that free app, that Google Cardboard app and your, um, your
your iPhone or your Android device. And I've created now that 3D tour, but before I publish it, it asks me over here for the location and to name it. And I would recommend you do those things, that you actually name it, give it a location again, because you want it to be found. That's the point of doing this. And, um, and then the description, and you can put credits on there. You can also uh, add ambient noises. So you can add like an ambient noise if you have one of birds chirping in the backyard. There's plenty of those free files online that you can go find. Or you can do a voiceover and actually narrate it by clicking here and then adding the audio file that you created either in GarageBand or whatever app you're using for that if you just want to talk about the beauty of the, the backyard. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, uh, not narrate it right now, although you could, but I am going to add a point of interest. In this case, I'm going to add a point of interest. I'm, and it, when I click on that point of interest, it's a little blue dot and I can move it to where it needs to go. And so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to put Matthew's archery target. And again, I can narrate this separately, or I can add a graphic over top that says, okay, we're gonna, this is our, um, this is an archery range. There are stones marked out at 10, 20, 30 yards, 100 feet, and there's a you know, holder kit or whatever you wanna call it for arrows or whatever, whatever I wanna put in there. But that's my point of interest, and I can do a different point of interest, and I can make it the apple tree. And so the apple tree is gonna be a point of interest, and I'm gonna call this the apple tree because I'm very creative like that. And I can create and upload another graphic. And I'm just gonna say this is gonna be, that is actually not an apple tree, but I'm gonna say it is anyways. And it uploads the apple tree and then it gives me the opportunity to, to make it a certain size. And the reason, and to even fold it a little bit, I'm gonna put it up here. Let's pretend that those are actual apples that are on the tree or a graphic I created with a narrative or something. This is my new scene. And then I'm done. And what I'm looking at is that when someone's looking at this 3D tour, when they click those um, end points of interest, something pops up, uh, either the voiceover happens or a graphic or an explanation or something uh, interesting. And so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit publish here. Uh, I've done my point of interest, I, whatever. If you're doing, if you are doing like a home, you can do an add scene here. So points of interest are the little graphics. Add scene are gonna be a different room or space. Maybe this would be my front yard. And I'm gonna add this here. All right. So this is just a different angle in my backyard. All right. Um, and there's our different scenes that I've created. I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish here. And I'm gonna make this unlisted because I really don't want anybody else to see it since this is just for training. And then when I click publish and it's gonna go live and it's gonna let me open this up, and I'm gonna view the tour. And so that work we just did, we're gonna see in scene one, you see it automatically start moving. Scene one is the first scene of the backyard. And this could be whatever scene you want it to be. And then when I go over here and I see this point of interest, I can click on this and then up pops the apple tree picture showing me, again, not an apple tree, but, uh, or I can click on this, which shows me the archery range and I could have a video or voiceover, not a, video, a voiceover or a graphic here, like zooming it in to show you what that range looks like there. And then um, when I'm done with those, I can go to scene two as a user and this sends me up and this uh, point I went to a different uh, part of my yard, uh, but it could be a different room in the house. It could be the front of the yard. It could be any number of things. Again, if you're doing a park, there could be different elements of the park. If you're doing the lake or a beachfront or wherever you are, those are going to be just your combined tours of the area. So um, that's it. You're all done. And then, of course, when the user's there, they can click here and they can upload other, you can upload other objects if you want to, or you can share. Um, down here is where you can share and you can get a link and say, I either want to embed this in my web page, which is what I think you should do if you're creating some type of like park or community uh, contact page, or I can share on social media or just copy the link and have it somewhere. So again, you can let your imagination run wild about the use for this, but I think it's a very cool tool. It's very free. And as you can see, it's incredibly easy. So good luck. If you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to ask them. You can leave them in the channel comments underneath on the blog post or wherever you're finding this particular video. And uh, generally those will notify me and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks so much.